Snestrunk. Welcome back to Snestrunk Plays Magic Sword. And since there's not a whole lot going in the going on in the game, you know, just the same old stuff of uh, dancing skeletons, and hacking and slashing, and all that good stuff. Let's do story time with with Snestrunk one more time. Uh, yeah, my allergies are crazy today. Um, uh, so I apologize if I sound a little weird. I, I recorded the first episode and then something came up and I had to resume recording uh, today. So uh, that's why I sound uh, different and more allergy. If you have a diamond rink, rink, what? Uh, oh, that uh, beeping sound is so pleasant. Oh, I just wish I could hear that in my dreams. Don't like the ninja. Ah, this guy's much better. Hey. Nah, let's stick with the ninja. He's goofy looking. There we go. Away with you, beeping noise. Anyway. Um, oh, wow, my guy leveled up. Or changed somehow. That's strange. Oh, I didn't know that stuff could actually kill you. Weird. Anyway. Um, it was around this time of year when I'm recording right now. I'm recording in the middle of May. But it was around this time, I think five years ago, when uh, my friends and I went to Japan. Uh, I don't know if it was five years ago, six years ago. But um, if you've never been to Japan or Tokyo, um, it is the closest you can get to being on another planet while still being on this planet. Especially if you're from uh, America, if you're from the United States. Hell, even if, I'm sure if you're from Europe or whatever, or Australia, it's probably just as just as freaking weird um anyway yeah i had an opportunity my friend was going anyway um he'd been there before he'd been to tokyo before and uh he was gonna go back he speaks the language uh fluently and uh he was gonna go back wow that is a really short level and um <laughs> open the treasure chest with gare gare gary garrett um, yeah, he was going back, so, and he asked me if I wanted to come with, and I said, yeah, when am I ever going to get the chance to go to Japan again with a native speaker? So, I had a, I think I ended up getting a huge, um, uh, bonus, uh, not bonus, but, uh, tax return or something like that, uh, renter's refund that year that went entirely toward this, uh, Tokyo trip, so, er, so I was like, I'm going to spend it on airfare, and, um, train ticket there was another uh i forget how much that cost it was really expensive to get on that uh it was a pat we were there for like 12 days i think 11 or 12 days and the uh tr so the train pass was a few hundred bucks totally worth it the train system there is absolutely amazing i so wish we had something like that in the united states it would be just the greatest Nobody drives there. If you drive, you, <laughs> there's no there's no signs telling you where you are or where to go or, or anything. Does that say let's Murray? Weird. Um, we had a boss fight here. Oh. Um. Anyway, yeah. The the train system there it does take a few days to to um, figure out and understand what the, where the hell you're going. Uh, we stayed in a region called Takeda no Baba. Um, at a youth hostel. Um, there are people from all over the world staying there. Most people spoke English. J but uh, yeah, Japan is very, very intimidating. It's um, not even the people at the airport who are supposed to help you know how to speak English other than this way and your bags, you know, just very simple phrases. Like they don't understand. Like nobody there speaks English uh, outside of a few a few words. So if you go to, t if you go to Japan, Highly recommend you go with somebody that knows how to speak the language. Um, there's no way I would have survived without uh, my friend who speaks very well. In fact, natives there were like, "Wow, your accent is incredible!" Like, and you're just like some random white guy. <laughs> That's the other thing about Japan is people will. St if you're a white dude, hell, if you're a black dude, I made sure to make my my hair was really long back then. It was down to my shoulders. And I kept it that way uh, specifically for Japan. I wanted to get as many stairs as I possibly could. Um, be careful. Um, 
Yeah, I remember one day we were wandering around aimlessly in this town, not, not sure where to go. And um, I think school just let out. We were, happened to be walking past like a, a middle school. Damn, let me continue. Happened to be walking past this middle school and kids just like stopped and stared and laughed at us. Like they And um, according to these uh, few kids, we were the first white people they'd ever seen. Oh, is this the dragon? my boredom. What were you doing before I got here? Just sitting there? <laughs> oh, it's another griffin thingy. Didn't I already fight this guy? Um, yeah. So yeah, it's it, Japan is very, very... It's uh, our first night there. We got there. Um, it's like a 15-hour flight or something like that. Oh, longer than that. Um, we, uh... Um, got there. Wow, that was fast. Oh, I thought I killed him already. We um, got there, and uh, it was really, it was like, I think already 10.30 or 11 o'clock at night. People all over the streets just wandering around. Um, I guess there's a college where our hostel was, and so it's all like college-age kids goofing off and doing stuff. Um, and uh, we, our hostel was like locked up. There was nobody there. Everybody was out for the night, I guess. Um, so we had no way of getting in, and we had no we weren't, weren't very keen on waiting around because we were so freaking exhausted from the from the flight. God, the slowdown is just ridiculous here. Um, so what we decided to do um, was uh, we got a taxi and we told him take us to like a hotel or something, um, the cheapest one you got. He's and he, I guess he's you know speaking Japanese. He's talking to my friend. Game over. What? I used up all my continues. You know what you can do though? You can say fuck that boss and let's just <laughs> let's just skip to the thirteenth floor. Fuck it. I wanna keep playing. <laughs> okay, whatever. Um anyway, yeah, we we took a cab and my friend asked the cab driver, just take us where there's a hotel. He said, I know just the place, I guess. And uh, he dropped us off at what's called a capsule hotel. Um and that was the most surreal experience of my life, probably, <laughs> because <laughs> we finally destroyed Kimber. <laughs> no, you didn't, you liar. I just skipped past him. <laughs> That's funny. This game makes you a liar. <laughs> oh, and your guy stays leveled up too. He's at level three and he died. He disappeared. What a bunch of bullshit. Um, anyway, yeah, we, we, we went to a capsule hotel and uh, it's so strange. We went to the front desk um, there's a lot of people there waiting in line to talk to people and get a, get a capsule for the night. And um, a capsule is basically like an, a casket, but it's open at the at the feet. It's like a tube you sleep in. There's like TV. There's a TV that's propped in there. You put uh, you put yen in there. You put coins in there, and it you can watch TV in your capsule. It is uh, is <laughs> really weird. Um, I slept for about four hours and woke up like, where the fuck am I? Um, but yeah, at the front desk, um, we got a, or I, I should say, I got a, my f welcome to Japan uh, in the form of, uh, I should probably get a companion, huh? Thank you. You're welcome. Um, the, uh, I, um, God, that thing finally died. Actually, you can actually kill those things, I learned. Jeez. Um, the, uh, the front desk, um, the area by the front desk is, like, hardwood floor, but the area to walk into the building was, I don't know, like, regular floor, I guess, and you're supposed to have your shoes off for regular, um, how am I supposed to get past this? Oh, like this. Um, the, the area by the, you know, you're supposed to take your shoes off for hardwood floor. I didn't know that, so everybody was staring at me aggressively. And my friend was like, dude, shoes, shoes. And I'm like, what? What the fuck are you talking about? And I noticed there's a place for you to put your shoes. So I take it, I take off my shoes. And then when I go into, you know, we get our room. Um, <laughs> it's, it's uh, you're, I, don't, I forget to put my shoes back on. There's a place where there's normal floor, I guess. It's also arbitrary. And, um. Yeah, and the, everybody in the whole place is staring at me. The, the, the front desk people are giving me looks. Shoes! Shoes! Put your shoes on! I'm like, Jesus, fuck! Um, I'm coming up to the end of the episode, so I'll keep blathering about our first night in Japan. Uh, next time, 
Thanks for watching and have a great rest of your day. What's what, what's the, what's he gonna say here? Let's go and be careful. Good advice.